Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Single Mom Life. So we are actually right where we left off because I want to have her drink some drinks, go on the dating uh, app profile for a couple minutes before she heads home. Okay, so she's just up in this bar having a good time, sitting with these two men. <laughs> and you know, she's having a good time. She just finished her drink, it looks like. I think another bartender will be coming to take the place of the other one, I'm assuming. So while she waits, it is only 7.30, but we are gonna go ahead and go on for Rudy Sim. And we uh, are, we're gonna have a conversation with our matches. We're gonna have a conversation probably with all three Three of them so let's do this thing she is just she is in her fun era we know this she wants to have a good time <laughs> who do you guys think she would like have fun with the most honestly i don't know like i feel like she would need to go on a date with all of them oh mm. join me right away so he should come here so i'm gonna like not talk to these other dudes right now and then i guess we're gonna have her order a drink she's gonna get herself something we're gonna do a just eh, should we get the ipa or a screwdriver let's get a screwdriver and he should be coming here like where are you dude usually they show up like right away unless he's in here am i blind no that new dude walked in but oh it's singles night dude no fucking way where is he i'm so confused that's dominic oh here you are hey dude you actually took way longer to show up than sims usually take so uh yeah this music is really loud <laughs> at least for me i'm gonna change the volume oh it's on medium though maybe it's not loud for you guys and i'm just gonna like tune it out um once we move away from it it's like totally fine oh my god i love that he actually sat down beside her but then he's getting up um i mean she's getting up <laughs> Okay, she looks so cute though. Look at her. I think she is in her party wear now. I'm pretty sure. I don't even remember this outfit. Not gonna lie. Tell a joke about ducks? Yeah, sure. Girl, she's feeling super paranoid. Uh, let's ask about Moonwood Mill. You live in Moonwood Mill. Okay. Why do I kind of feel like this is not her usual type, but like she kind of likes it? You know what I mean? You know how like sometimes you're attracted to that person that's like the opposite of your type? But for some reason, it's making them more hot. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's what's kind of happening here. Nah, she's not going to give them a gift. We're not going to do that. <laughs> We're not going to do that. But let's do some of this stuff here. Um, so ask the date if there are other dates. Okay, let's do that. Oh, oh. Oh. Summerly, I saw your fruity some profile and I can't take my eyes off you. Will you accept matching with me? Akira. Okay, totally. I mean, duh. <laughs> a few moon gays before heading to bed. They say the moon will grant you a special dream. He's not a werewolf, right? I hope not. I hope not. We'd be doing some teen wolf up in here. No. <laughs> okay, so tell the day that this person is special sure summerly i'm very happy to continue this conversation with you i'd love to see more of your selfies flirty and goofy oh he wants a flirty and goofy selfies preferably as i take the relationship further oh my god already <laughs> like that's just like an option you gotta do so soon ask which fruit chosen yeah ask what fruit he chose and then i'm obsessed with this app like i love it i feel like it's so interactive um say date is better in person i mean sure so devin has accepted this new relationship you now have access to new social interactions with him okay she'd be getting all sorts of moodlets going on talk about the app oh then it's gonna remove some of the ones like i don't know if we had to do some of the ones that we didn't even i don't know <laughs> we're not gonna worry about it let's ask if the app is still installed i mean she still has it installed she'd be trying to move so fast nah okay so we have i did it yay i got a match with someone i'm totally attracted to we have oh am i the only one i'm very flattered by this answer and it proves that you don't play with others feelings oh okay i want to see you again call me whenever you want i want to see you more often and share great moments with you we have what do you think excuse you we have what do you think about the app i think it's great that's the reason why i met you that's destiny oh did you just install it when you met me well destiny brought us together good thing the way good thing that way you didn't have 
time to like many people. Oh, and then she's tipsy currently. Ooh, um, maybe I'm getting a little too confident right now. I shouldn't reveal my feelings too soon, should I? And then we have, you still have it in your bookmarks. Oh, we still have the app. Are you kidding me? I thought you were honest and trustworthy. I mean, I mean, we also have a pleasant wine feeling. I don't think we can get all this done because we like moved on to the next thing too soon, I think. But we're going to order another drink. She said bye. She's <laughs> okay. Let's order like a drink for the group though. And let's do, I don't know. No, don't get a virgin drink. Let's get, why do I, I want to get them bridge boards, I think. Okay. Like she's loaded. We can get like any drinks we want. Why the frick not? So, ooh, on the road to fame. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> the bartender. I was so confused. Which, by the way, this is Kyle, which obviously he is the baby daddy and growing together, which I am so excited to record you guys. Oh my God. I am debating. I'm recording this at night and I'm debating if I just record an episode of that too. It's getting late here, but I, I'm debating it. I don't know though. I might have to leave it for tomorrow because I... Not to talk about that series in this series, but like I really, I don't know. I feel like the main sim in that series is gonna end up with him in the end. But anyway, so they keep like getting up, sitting back down. I don't really know what's going on here, but let's see. So we can, see we can't do some of the things anymore. And like, honestly, I don't fucking care. Like we're just gonna get to know him. At this point we got silver. So, hey, at least we did that. I don't know why it like goes forward. If you click a certain option, like, I don't know. <laughs> I would rather not do that, but we gained like a lot of romance. So yeah, we're gonna confess our attraction to him because I definitely think she's attracted. Uh, Flirtation, we're gonna couple appearance. Okay, wait, so is he a werewolf? Because look, I think he is. <laughs> I don't know how she feels about that. Uh, um, I think she would run, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie, but would she want to woohoo with a werewolf? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's just something she's wanting to do. Who knows? We're going to talk about fantasies. And yeah, she is, oh, she is, oh, she's sobering up. And then we have dizziness from her period. Girl, I thought you were feeling so good. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, oh, do we bring him back home? That's what I want to know. I mean, she does have to be more responsible because of her child, but the thing is, Phelan, oh, Phelan is still so young, and I feel like the older Phelan gets, she's actually going to have to be more careful. You feel me? Like, you know, I feel like this is the time when she can have a little more fun, and then potentially, like, once Phelan becomes a child, She's gonna have to try to, you know, not bring random guys home. You know what I mean? Like, at least not when Phelan's there, you know? Okay, so she is getting that kiss in. I have no idea if anything is gonna happen here, but I don't know if they should, like, hit up somewhere else or just, like, like I said, like, they could go back to her place only because oh the event's still going on though i don't want to end it so maybe they do just stay here it's only one hour and a half longer and i feel like that'll be a good time for her to just want to go home anyways you know so i, I do want to get better lighting in here though is anyone else annoyed by it i don't know <laughs> i hate these lights like i always like okay i like the effect of them but then i always feel like i want better lights with it you know like I'm all for like a chandelier moment, but then like I want these better lights in here. I don't know. It's weird because I feel like in real life I would have loved that lighting. It would have been like a vibe, but not in The Sims and not when I want to take photos. Look how much better that is. But anyway, um, I'm wondering, let's go to romance, uh, physical intimacy. Should we do our first kiss? I guess that didn't count like that other one. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Their romantic relationship is going like really well. Ooh. Okay, so now they've had their first kiss and we can go to romance again. We don't want to ask to be boyfriend, I don't think. Definitely not. Um, it's still acting like we... Oh, 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 okay. 
Um, I was not expecting this, but this is a moment. Hold on. I need a photo. Oh my God. Okay. You know, I'm trying to just like have her live in the moment with these guys, but like I always end up thinking they look so cute. Like why do they look so fucking cute? Like bye. They do. <laughs> <laughs> like why why do you look cute i can't okay oh my gosh girl you are gonna pee yourself okay please don't leave dude i feel like they're hitting it off pretty well i want them to hook up but i don't know if i want to bring him home or not so i don't know what's gonna happen she do need to be getting on birth control or something like to be real but i mean i don't know i feel like she's not about that life right now if i'm honest so oh kiss and grind this is what i wanted to do let's do a drunken kiss yeah because is she drunk though she's tipsy it's fine um also i want to get rid of her soulmate it's driving me insane I, at this point like okay the way the soulmate mod works is like it's gonna be a romantic soulmate it's not gonna be a friendship soulmate and i can story tell all i want and say it's like a friendship soulmate but the thing oh my god he gave her a hickey oh my god the thing is that at the end of the day it's going to be romantic and it's going to interfere with her love life. So I don't know what to do about that. Like, I feel like I need to take it off. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's going to mess with things. We need all the pictures with this animation. Guys, you need the kiss and grind mod. Let me tell you, it has the best animations ever like the best like look at this i don't know it is like mood <laughs> literally mood like what he's like kiss me and she's like i'm drinking <laughs> i don't know like they look a little odd together but also cute like i can't describe it do you guys feel what i'm thinking i don't know i don't know and then now okay so if you do it the opposite way the guy will get put on or the girl will get put on his back which is what i did for one of my main channel series but if it's the girl doing it then <laughs> she will literally lift him up like <laughs> girl in what world can you lift him like you don't even exercise in what world come on now <laughs> Aww. okay let me not think they're cute like let me not let me not we're not gonna do that but then what am i gonna go do another animation from it I like how I have the blur still on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see this. Should we do, let's do sensual grind because they've been drinking and stuff. Oh, he said, let me turn the TV off. He said, I want this moment with just you and I. <laughs> like what? Okay. <laughs> All right, so they're hitting it up. We're just gonna let them. I mean, I don't know. Will they hook up? I mean, he could just come home with her. They are like really hitting it off. Like I'm not gonna lie. So like maybe. Okay, I'm thinking he comes home with her. I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling it. I also, I keep having this urge to have them leave Chestnut Ridge. I do still keep getting that urge. Like you guys already know, like she left the huge farm, but there's something that is just making her feel like she needs to keep these two horsies. And like, it's really hard for her. And she just like, she keeps having all these thoughts. And one thing she's been thinking about is letting her parents take the horses because they were her husband's horses and it's just really difficult for her to let go. But I feel like she has so much more fun when she's not in Chestnut Ridge. Like I just feel like she's not a Chestnut Ridge girly and I feel like she's not living her fullest life here. Like, don't you guys get that vibe? Like, I feel like she's trying to live out her husband's legacy and like with him it was fine because you know he was doing everything she needs a diaper change but we're gonna have her go here but yeah without him it feels like a task like a chore like a you know what i mean um we're gonna go ahead and accept it's just it, it's i don't know it's not that she doesn't love these horses but yeah do you think her parents would take them and she would leave chestnut ridge i also think chestnut ridge holds these memories for her that make her really emotional and she's trying her best to like move on you know and i feel like being here is making it harder being in this new place helped but i think still being here it's hard and i don't know would they woohoo you think yeah <laughs> we're gonna do that and then we're gonna take care of her daughter which yeah we should be doing that first i know but she's too tired and i and i just know if i have her first take care of her daughter we're not gonna get to the woohooing so let's just go do this thing really fast normal woohoo um okay you learned his woohoo interest cool so this will be fast because we're not doing like the wicked whims he apparently has condoms so fingers crossed 
But yeah, like, do you guys think they would move? If so, let me know where. I don't exactly see her as a city girl, but I do think she likes to go out and have fun and stuff now while also taking care of her daughter, you know? But yeah, I feel like she wants to meet new people and just like surround herself with new people to like move on, right? Like, you know, start this like not new life, but like new chapter. And I think a way that we can still, cause okay, this is single mom life, but I started this LP around when Horse Ranch came out. And so I, you know, it was kind of like a horse ranch slash single mom life, but I didn't want to be tied to horse ranch. So that's why I did single mom life. And I feel like a way to still incorporate horse ranch is simply by having her parents have the horses and then we go visit them all the time like make it like our goal to go visit them like every weekend you know maybe even more and i think that would definitely still have us incorporate um horse ranch without it being the main thing so we're gonna change her diaper and she oh totally digging it summerly loves when her partner holds her like that it makes her want them more and more oh drunk romance i woohooed a werewolf you guys, you guys, oh my god, wait, are you hungover already? Tell me you're not. You're already hungover, bitch, you- <laughs> <laughs> what the hell okay well in that sense or in that case let's uh let's just grab some leftovers oh yeah hug your daughter honestly i have been missing phelan like we see her all the time but just literally oh my god we could like be away from her for like one episode even half an episode and i'm just like phelan <laughs> she's just so cute like i freaking love her look at you look at you but yeah if you guys think they should move and her parents should take the horses let me know down below obviously i'll go with what i think in the end that what i feel most passionate to do because one thing i refuse to cancel an lp on this channel so i'm gonna do whatever i can to enjoy my current lps which i am so that's really awesome but yeah i would love for her to move somewhere else and hold on when i take a look at the world's let me see. I, I want to, I want to see what I feel like is her vibe. San Sequoia, maybe. I could see that. And mm, I don't see Tomering at all. I don't see Copperdale either. Although this would be cool to move here when Phelan's a teenager. That would be cool. But right now, eh, I don't see Tartosa. I don't see there. Like, I don't see a lot of these places. Like, this speaks to me. But I'm trying to think, like, does anywhere else. I guess Newcrest, right? Because I feel like Newcrest can be whatever you want it to be. So this is cool too. What do you guys think? Do you think she would live in Newcrest? Or do you think she would live in San Sequoia? The, okay, I have I have like a like a difficult decision here though. Obviously, growing together, they're living here. I don't know how I feel about the idea of two let's plays because I only have three let's plays going on here, and like two of them living in the same world. So maybe scratch that. So I'm sorry if you guys were like, yes, go here, because now I'm like going back on that. Maybe we just do Newcrest. You know what? I also could really see them moving to somewhere like Sulani. Like, maybe that seems like a sudden decision, but I will say when they were on their vacation and they went to the beach, they were at Tartosa, but I don't know. I really liked that energy for them, but I can't see them living here, but I can see them living in Sulani. Hmm. They have a lot of money. Wait a second. They have a lot of money. This makes sense. I feel like I've already made my decision before these ep this episode even goes up and I'm like asking you guys and now I've already like decided. <laughs> But like, they have a lot of money. She would pick up and leave to some tropical place. She totally would. And then like take a plane every weekend to go see her parents and the horses. I know that sounds like a lot every weekend, but she got the cash, you know? Hmm. I think I'm going to do that. I don't know if something's going to change my mind, but right now that sounds good because I feel like, you know, like I said, life with her husband on the ranch and stuff, that was different. But I feel like her as like a solo person, she is like, she wants to be on the beach, you know? And I feel like she really realized that when she went on vacation to Tartosa, you know? And so I'm like, hmm, I could see that you guys. I could. Okay. I'm going to put this down because she does need to sleep tonight. So I'm going to let them sleep and I'll pick back up in the morning. Oh my God. Greg is calling you guys. I'm like skipping through. Oh wait. Okay. He went on a date with Liberty Lee. Aw. Okay. So her mom was calling asking if she wants to go to the flea market and I didn't catch it in time, but we do have the festival of youth happening, which I think would be cute to go with Phelan and maybe bring her parents too. So this is like already began and begun. <laughs> and so I feel like we could go, but 
we're gonna have her go potty i feel like she's becoming such an independent toddler already like do you guys feel that which makes sense because she is aging up in one day we what okay you know what's crazy i feel like this lp is like flying by and we're only on what like what episode are we on we're only on episode 13 and i think i did age her up a little early when she was an infant but I didn't even age her up earlier, like where I'm not like speeding through anything. It's on normal lifespan and she's going to age up in one day. And then you have 18 more days until you're an adult, which is also crazy to me. So yeah, but anyway, I have no idea if she would be pregnant. She has morning dew though. <laughs> We can take a pregnancy test, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let her eat some breakfast. And then, yeah, I think we're going to go to that festival and bring the parents and just have a day there. So I think that is going to be the plan. Um, oh my gosh, I still haven't put the controllable pets mod in my game. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> so we're going to go, wait. Yeah, just go play on your own. See, I just feel like these horses, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how much I like horses in The Sims 4. I'm not going to lie. Ask horse to play. They're cute and all. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, there, uh, maybe it's just her. Maybe it's because, like, she's the only adult in this household. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Like, I, I want to just leave and go to the festival, but I feel bad. But we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I feel like she just wants to live her life. Oh, can we not bring the parents? That's rude. Oh, we can bring you. Okay, we'll just bring you. Because she actually wanted to see her anyways. Okay, so we're here and I think, oh, you're here. And the horses. Okay, could some, why? <laughs> I don't know. But, um, sure. So we're gonna go over here together. And I think we're mainly gonna focus on the festival in the next episode. But yeah, what do you guys think about the moving to Sulani? Like, I'm all about, like, abrupt decisions in this Let's Play. I think, like... I feel like, well, because usually I feel like I can be slow paced. I feel like with Summerly, I feel like she's a very like on the spot person. And I think that's why in this series, I'm just like, hey, let's do it. Let's go. You know what I mean? And like her just being like, yep, I want to hook up with this guy. Yep. I want to make an online dating profile. Yep. I want to do this. I want to do that. I feel like even her like wanting to sell the house was like a pretty quick decision. We are going to talk to Charlotte a little bit, bonding time with her mom and um, we're going to give her a hug, which will be cute. And then we'll do a deep conversation, talk to her about like, hey, like, you know, I'm really not happy where I am. You know, I think it's really time for me to start a new chapter in my life so I can officially move on. I really want to move to somewhere hot. And I think that's going to be Sulani. And I really hope you'd be okay with taking the horses. Like, I know you and dad love, you know, the life with the horses and all of that and she's like sure honey like i would love to do that like we're totally okay with that you know i don't see an issue you know i wonder if they would even move back into the original home like with having more horses i don't know i don't know look at you you're just like you're on the long uh caregiver personality archetype okay well, um, honestly, there's not much for a toddler to do around here, which mm, I don't know how I feel about that. We can't even like edit the lot. We can with the tool mod, but I don't have it in my game and I don't want to go through that. So yeah, I would love to put like a toddler slide here and stuff, you know, but there's really only stuff for kids, which kind of sucks. Um, so I don't really know how much she can do, but we can talk to Yamachan. So we can do the mountain move with Yamachan and we can also take a selfie. So we're going to save that cuteness for the next episode, you guys. And will we be moving? I don't know. I think that, oh, whoops. I think that's the move. I really do. She is so cute. I like, are you actually joking? <laughs> Look at her big smile. She's so freaking cute. I cannot believe how soon she's going to be growing up. I feel like that's another reason they should move. And then she can start school there. You know what I mean? But with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.